Numbers such as 567, 894 have six digits. Each digit has a different place value. What is a place value? Place value can be defined as the value represented by a digit in a number on the basis of its position in the number. So, what is the place value of each digit? Let's study this chart. The words on top of each digit are, or number are called place values. Kids, you can easily familiarize the place value by reading it from right to left. That means when you name the place value, start from right to left. The first place value in the chart is called the ones. Next is tens and followed by hundreds. Next is thousands, ten thousands. And since the number is six digits, we end up with a hundred thousands. How about this number? 893,276. What is the place value of nine? Very good. How about eight? That's right. Place value of seven. Six. Very good. Three. Okay, and two is? Very good. Another example. 452,678. What is the digit in the hundreds? How about in hundred thousands? In one's place. Okay, very good. Ten thousands. And tens placed. Very good. So kids, did you know that each digit of a given number has value? Yes, the value refers to the worth of each digit depending on where it lies in the number. Let's go back to the chart that I had presented earlier. The value of each digit is determined by multiplying the place value by the digit. So for example, what is the value of 7? Since 7 is in the thousands place, the value of 7 is 7,000. How did it happen? You are going to multiply the place value, which is thousands, by 7. So 1,000 times 7 is 7,000. So the value of 7 is 7,000. How about the value of 5? Since 5 is in the 100 thousands, multiply 100,000 by 5. Therefore, the value of 5 is 500,000. How about the value of 6? It is in the 10 thousands place. Okay, 10,000 times 6 is 60. So the value of 6 is 60,000. Next, we have the value of 8. 8 is in the hundreds place. So we're going to multiply 100 by 8. The answer is... That's right, 800. So the value of 8 is 800. How about the value of 9? Okay, it is in the tens place, so we're going to multiply 10 times 9. The answer is 90. So the value of 9 is 90. Lastly, we have the value of the digit 4. It is in the ones place. So we're going to multiply 1 times 4. The answer is 
4. So the value of the digit 4 is 4. It is also important that you know the number of zeros of each place place value so that you can easily determine the value of each digit. Like for example, how many zeros are there in hundred thousands? Yes, there are five zeros. Now you add these five zeros with a digit five, it becomes five hundred thousand. So the value of five is 500,000. How many zeros are there in 10,000? I mean in 10,000. That's right. It has four zeros. Add these zeros to six. Six becomes 60,000. Its value is 60,000. How many zeros are there in 1,000 or 1,000? Okay, there are four zeros. Add this to seven and it becomes... What? No, I mean, 1,000. How many zeros in zeros in 1,000? I'm sorry. Okay, there are three. So there are three zeros. So you add this to seven and it becomes... 7,000. So its value is seven... How about the digit 9? It is in the tenth place. There is no zero in, there is only one zero in 10. Therefore, you just add one zero to 9. This becomes 90. Its value is 90. And then we have 4. 4 is in the ones place. 1 has no zero, so it remains 4. The value of 4 is 4. So kids, it is up to you what makes it easier for you to determine the value of its digit. You can multiply the place value by its digit or you can just add 0 or zeros. It depends on the place value except one's place wherein it remains as it is.